you're broadly supportive of uh, President Putin's actions in Ukraine. So tell us what you expect President Putin to outline later on today. Good morning, then. Uh, thank you for giving me your floor. But I don't know exactly what Putin is going to say. But I know that it's going to be juridical procedure for those territories uh, from Ukraine to join Russia. Uh, Putin should uh, sign a treaty between uh, the Parisian Kherson, uh, Donetsk and Lugansk republics uh, and uh, Russia. And then we should pass the treaty in uh, State Duma. Then uh, we should pass this treaty uh, on the Council of Federation. And only after that, Putin will sign it and uh, uh, officially uh, those territories will be um, the part uh, we, we will be uh, part of uh, Russia. Uh, I we are expecting that Putin uh, will give us a huge statement on uh, um, current situation on what we should do next after uh, the Paris, Kherson, Donbass uh, will join uh, Russia, because uh, we should uh, uh, continue to uh, defend the people in Donbass. We should uh, sit around the table with you, with the West, and uh, we should agree on um, uh, safety guarantees for Russian people, for Donbass people. But the UN Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, said last night that any decision to proceed with the annexation of these areas would have no legal value and deserves to be condemned. Russia's a permanent member of the UN Security Council, so shouldn't it take notice of that warning that this move would be illegal? Oh, Anna, uh, please don't live in the uh, Western myths, because uh, what can you say me about uh, Malvin's islands, uh, about... Uh, Holland Heights, what, what can you say me about what uh, your forces uh, did in Iraq, in Afghanistan? And uh, uh, would you tell me how the West uh, had divided a uh, huge country of Yugoslavia um, 20 years ago? Uh, it's, it's illegal for us. It's illegal for people in Donbass. We should defend them. You should understand it. Because they live under Ukrainian shelling for the last eight years. And Donbass have lost uh, around 14,000 people in this war for the last eight years, not from February. And uh, Russia must defend people on those territories. That's it. It's legal for Russia. It's legal for millions of people in uh, uh, former Ukrainian territories. You say it's legal for Russia, but President Putin has used these so-called referendums to, as a pretext for this annexation. And there's no international recognition of these votes, is there? The process wasn't monitored independently. It's been widely condemned by Ukraine and countries around the world as a sham. And what? What should you do next? What can you do with us? I have heard the, the news from you, uh, from Britain, about high prices, high tariffs, uh, electricity problems, uh, gas problems. Uh, you gonna uh, feel those problems. You're gonna feel your sanctions. Your sanctions. We didn't sanction uh, 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 in the Western countries, but you now struggling with those sanctions. You're going to pay high prices for sanctions against Russia. We're going to develop our country. We're going to develop um, uh, uh, new territories. And we're going to protect people on Donbass and Zaporizhia and Kherson. And President Putin has said he's prepared to use nuclear weapons if Russia's territorial integrity is threatened. Is all that's happening at the moment partly a sign that President Putin is worried? He's losing public support at home at the moment, isn't he, because of these uh, partial mobilisation of reservists? Uh, well, Anna, uh, you should uh, carefully listen uh, for Putin's statement. 
we're not threatening to anybody with our nuclear weapon. We just tell you that we have nuclear weapon. I am sure that we're not going to use it first. It's not our like rules. Uh, we have doctrine about using nuclear weapon, and we're going to use it only in response. If you or any other Western country should uh, gonna, gonna attack us with nuclear weapon, of course we will respond. But using nuclear weapon in 21st century, it's an insane decision. We are not insane. And we hope that you too. Evgeny Popov, have we lost you? Uh, oh, your line just I'm broke here. up there. The, the, the signal came and went on the end of your answer there. But I, just very quickly, we haven't got very much time, but very briefly, just on this question of the uh, partial mobilisation of reservists, President Putin yesterday acknowledged that mistakes had been made, calling up people who didn't have military experience or qualified for exemption. Is he concerned about this call-up that has seen so many men heading for the borders trying to get out of Russia? Well, Anna, you, you are uh, seeing just a picture of what you want to see. Yes, uh, some people are fleeing Russia, but much more people, uh, hundreds of thousands of people are joining the army right now. Many of them by volunteer, and they're going to protect our country. We have some concerns about this partial mobilization, but we don't have an experience of uh, mobilization for decades. We're going to fix those mistakes. I do uh, fix uh, many mistakes as a deputy, as a member of parliament, and my colleagues are going to do it and uh, uh, doing it now. Uh, that's OK. Everything is OK if this partial mobilization. We know that our people are ready to defend our country.